The Philoptochos Society is one of the largest faith-based philanthropic women's organizations in the United States of America. We've been in existence for 90 years. We've implemented a number of various programs, and we make a difference in the lives of, of those less fortunate among us. Philoptochos is the philanthropic arm of the Greek Orthodox Archdiocese of America. We have the National Philoptochos, we have nine Metropolis Philoptochoses, and we have 437 chapters, as well as 25,000 members across the country. The beginning of the Philoptochos found itself in the hearts and souls of the immigrants that came first to America. Not finding a church, not finding organizations, they developed them themselves. They developed the parishes, that many of which are even older than the Greek Orthodox Archdiocese. And in those parishes, from the lay people who came here as immigrants, were also the roots of the National Philoptochos Society. In the late 19th century, they came over from Greece Asia Minor and Constantinople to the, to the United States of America. And at that point in time, they started the, the Philoptochos Society. The Philoptochos Society then actually wasn't incorporated until many years later. The Archdiocese was incorporated in the state of New York in 1922, and 10 years later, Philoptochos was founded. So we've been in existence now for 90 years. The Philoptochos was guided by great visionaries. There were several archbishops who, in particular, were visionaries and saw what the role of Philoptochus could be. First and foremost, of course, was Archbishop Athenagoras, who ultimately became our ecumenical patriarch in Constantinople. He was the one, under his mentorship, his decision, that we would be incorporated separately as a not-for-profit of the state of New York so that the Philoptochus would have its autonomy and its ability to reach the needs that individuals and groups had. Beyond Archbishop Athena Boris, and every archbishop really has been supportive of the organization, I would have to then say Archbishop Iakovos gave tremendous support, assisted us in expanding our mission, and supported us in every conceivable fashion, including expanding all over the country. He was very wise. He selected presidents from various areas in the United States so that the entire country could feel involved and included in the mission of the organization. I would say also Archbishop Demetrius, who really stood by our side and encouraged us in purchasing the Philoptochos Center of Philanthropy, which is now our home in historic Murray Hill, supported us 100% of the way in that big step. And of course today, Archbishop Obidoforo stands by our side, gives us every support that he can, and guides us moving forward so that we can face the next hundred years. First and foremost, we, the Philoptochos is the philanthropic arm of the Greek Orthodox Archdiocese of America. Second, we live our faith by implementing our mission. It should also be noted that our patron saints are Saints Cosmas and Vamianos, the holy and wonder-working unmercenaries. Third, through our national biennial events for the love of our children and the Greek Orthodox community at large, we hold two events, our children's medical fundraiser luncheons throughout the country and also our national philoptochos conventions that are held in conjunction with our clergy lady congresses. Fourth, we embrace younger women and converts to the faith. We encourage involvement in our various philanthropic efforts and we engage our total membership. I stand in the shoulders of 12 National Philoptochos presidents that preceded me. They've implemented many, many programs and I hope to expand them. And I hope to continue the mission of Philoptochos and to help more people in need. Philoptochos is part of the fiber of the centennial celebration. The ladies of the Philoptochos helped build the churches, helped build the communities that celebrate today helped with the mission and the goals of the Archdiocese of America, all the while supporting the ministries 
and the various programs that are the part and parcel of what we stand for today. Our Ecumenical Patriarchate and Ecumenical Patriarch Bartholomew are supported by the Philoptochus with joy and with love. St. Basil's Academy, which was both purchased and supported by the Philoptochus with love and with joy every day of the year. Our widowed presbyteres, our retired priests and presbyteres, all supported by the Philoptochus. Our ministries and our missions throughout the world. Social services, which looks after the needs of people who are next door. Hospitals that are funded for medical care for children throughout the country. All of that continues today. All of that is part of the 100 years of the Archdiocese, but also the 90 years of Philoptochus, as both of us were organized legally, because the one question we asked from day one is the question that we ask today, how can we help? Throughout our social service efforts, the heart of Philoptochus, we offer comfort to alleviate pain and suffering, and we offer hope to ease despair. May love, grace, and truth guide us in all of our endeavors for the common good.